Now to the groves of academe. Not as peaceful as you might think. Lancaster University has a new professor of linguistics. So what, you might say? But Ruth Vodek is the academic equivalent of an asylum seeker. She claims she found it impossible to work in her home city of Vienna because of a right-wing clique. Wilfred Darlington reports. In a world in which frontiers need to be more open, pose questions of identity. Honest politics. Now, I've long argued that the British public is tiring of the antics of its politicians. This is the vision we offer our country. This is the fight that we have to win. When people are watching Tony Blair or Michael Howard on the news, they get the sense that somehow they're being manipulated, somehow persuasion is taking place, and they realise that language somehow is doing that. Even so, the study of linguistics does seem to the ordinary person to be a rather rarefied subject and only distantly related to the front line of political controversy. But what if academic work in the field of linguistics is carried out in a country whose most eminent scholars are sensitive about their nation's past? And what if research in linguistics uncovers a latent racism which the country's politicians would sooner forget? Ruth Vodak enjoys one of the highest reputations in the field of linguistics, but the subject of her research caused embarrassment in a country which still suffers from emotional wounds sustained in World War II. Professor Vodak found that linguistic research in her native Austria had become impossible. I'm Jewish uh, in a country which is basically Catholic with a very difficult past which is still often enough denied, and uh, doing analysis on topics which are considered uh, difficult to take, so it's controversial. Scholars are susceptible to pressure and interference by political parties in Austria. The situation has worsened since 2000, when more than a quarter of the popular vote brought the far-right Freedom Party, led by Jörg Haider, into government. It was her research into racism in European Union member states which led Professor Vodak into difficulties. She was working on a project on racism in six countries, including both Austria and the UK. But despite an astonishing record of publication, totaling 40 books and 200 academic articles, Professor Vodak's team was effectively disbanded by a small group within the Austrian Academy of Sciences. Obviously a group of very right-wing old men had formed who didn't want this research to continue. I asked the Academy why the project was cancelled. The reply states that international reports were obtained which informed the decision to terminate Professor Vodak's work. In fact, the opposite is true. I think the vote within the specific section of the Academy was an internal affair because if they had listened to the international advice, they would have had to accept the project without any doubts. But in what has been described as a considerable coup for the Northwest, she has left Vienna to become a professor at Lancaster University. One of the reasons I'm delighted that Ruth is coming to the UK is that her research on language and racism, for example, in the Austrian context, is very relevant to the UK context also. And in fact, she'll find it easier to conduct that type of research here because of the lack of political interference in such research than she would in Austria. So not merely do I think she would be able to conduct that research, I think we also need that research. Wilf Darlington reporting.